What up, the homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and I'm back for another very brief micro session. And we're going to go in more into detail about dodging and burning, something that I've been wailing about and raving about for the last two months, three, four, five months. Dodging and burning. And what can you really do with the dodging and burning tool? Well, we can go from an image like this to something like this. Bam! Adding grease and muscle and oil to the image. Before, after. Before, after. Notice the detail in the eyes and the shadows on the nose and the lips is popping. Notice the grease on the elbow here and things like that. Notice the extra, extra six pack in her belly. See, it wasn't really there, but we bring it out. Now there's a method, there's a technique that I like to use. Here's another version of it. Two different ones. Now there's a method that I like to use. Now again, before we start the session, don't forget, if you want to skip over the 30-day madness, go right on over to todaysbeast.com slash Photoshop. And over there, you get to learn how to do all the greats, like the 3D parallax uh, tutorial I was talking to you guys about. Um, I actually previously, I had, to, I had to redo it because um, there were some new things. Anyway, you can learn how to do this and you can learn how to do all these type of tutorials, including flyers and the whole nine. There's a 3D parallax effect and um, all that good stuff. So anyway, check it out. Uh, but for now, I got these micro sessions popping off for you guys. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we went from um, that to this or this you know the different versions of it anyway i'm gonna show you how to do it by doing by doing a more detailed version of dodge and burn so the first thing i like to do is go over to my image of course and go to adjustments and i like to adjust the layers because this look pretty washed out and flat so i like to adjust my levels and i try to bring it down to where i get blacks but you still see that there's light hitting on this black and shadows and things like that and we'll deal with the other shadows by adjusting the mids here. And we'll pull it down a little bit. And then I'm going to brighten it back up. And we just adjust it to where you can see that that's black. You can see the shadows, but we don't crush the blacks to the point where you don't see, you know, no shadows at all. All right. So now that we got that set, now what I like to do here. Let me copy that as a backup. Now we go over here and we go to our dodge tool. Now again, um, to remind you guys what the dodge tool is, is it is a highlighter, or should I say it adds contrast to the highlights. So if anything that's light, if you use the dodge tool, it's going to get lighter. If you paint, if you, you know, if you paint over a light highlight with the dodge tool, it's going to make the image lighter. And I like to use mid-tones. Now you can go in here in shadows and highlights, but we're going to strictly focus on mid-tones because we want to bring out the highlights and the mid-tones. And um, dodge is the complete opposite. It adds exposure, dark exposure, to the darker tones. So right now, dodge, let's focus on lighting up with dodge. Now, the thing I like to do is, and I like, I use this particular image because it was flat, right? but I see very subtle muscle movements in there. So what I like to do with the Dodge tool is go in there, find a, a Fox a muscle and actually enhance it. So let's do that. So we're gonna go here and uh, go to our Dodge. We're gonna shrink this down and I like to balance my exposure. And I got my exposure on low right now that way, when I when I add a stroke, it's going to be very subtle. And let me show you something. When I add uh, high, I'm going to undo it. When it's high, I add that stroke. It comes on really strong. So we want to avoid that. So let me step that back. Now, sometimes you want to add a strong. You'll see during the session when I add, you know, when I make it a little strong. But I want a little bit more control over this here. So we got that. And uh, we highlight this here. And we add a little light here and we're just kind of adding a little bit of oh i'm sorry i apologize look how what, look what that set at it's set on shadows so what's happening when you got it set on shadows instead of it uh lighting up the color 
or the exposure of her skin, it lights up the shadows, turning it white. So let's undo this. I'm glad I saw that. If you ever run into that mistake, you know, that's there's a troubleshooting for you right there. So let me pause this and undo this. Give me a second. Okay, let's go back to the basics here. Uh, again, mid-tones, we select mid-tones. And notice when I add the highlight, now see it's more her skin color. Let's change the exposure and let's lo lower that exposure. Okay, so now that's, that's highlight more of her skin color. So if we go over here, if it's already brown, it's just gonna lighten up that particular brown. Unless, of course, we keep going over it over and over again. So we're gonna add a little bit of highlights to her hand. Anything that have light to it, that's what's going to light up. So we add in indentures to, you know, elements like, you know, the light on the shoulder. I just look for the lighter parts and, and brighten up the lighter part here. And it just add a little bit of extra sheen. You know what I mean? It add the sheen to her. She's already popping, right? She popping like Marty B or Cardi B, whatever her name is. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little brown on the forehead. There you go, yeah. There, there. And then let's zoom in on the eyeballs here. And uh, let's tighten that up. Now sometime if we want the exposure to move a little faster, we can just turn turn up that light a little bit. And uh, so it's based on how you wanna do it. I wanna put a little bit of light shine on the forehead. Uh, maybe even bring out the bottom of our eyes. And then we're going here and tighten up and we're just, enhance the eye lights and uh, mind you anything that's uh, light that's what's going to be exposed we're going to bring up the exposure basically that's what we're doing bringing up the exposure of what's already uh, lit now I've already showed you a few of these tutorials um, but I wanted to do a much more detailed version of this let's go in there and get them them lips I'm gonna have to take that grid off of there. Y'all gotta excuse me, excuse me for now. Now let's really add a lot of highlight to that and let's get right to it. So we're gonna add some bubbles. So I just turned up the exposure. And again, you're overexposing. Okay, I didn't wanna do that much, yeesh, sorry about that. But, uh, you know, we really making stuff look uh, really, you know, popping, we popping it. All right, and then I like to go in here and look for other body parts that might can use some enhancement. So let's turn this exposure down and maybe we can add a little, you know what I mean? Little depth to the chest area, right? They always want that, you know, I always want that little bumped up. So they go ahead and give them what they want. And uh, we're gonna come back and add the uh, shadow to it later. And that's really gonna add to the depth. We really add a lot of dimension to what's already here. So I look for muscle tones. Like I can, I can actually see the little, little six pack trying to work here. So I, I get in there and I, I work with that. I work with what's already there. And some things I kind of create based on my knowledge of the anatomy. Anybody know the anatomy? Uh, so right now you see what I'm doing here. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe, maybe, you know. And just for the sake of the tutorial, this is what I'm doing. You, know, you may want to do it different. Nah, fellas, don't go out there and get you start painting you a six pack and posting it on Instagram like you really popping like that. Come on, that's not what this is for. Go to the gym like everybody else. Work hard at it. So we see a little dent and muscle right there. Okay. Boom, boom. All right, and we got a little something. Got a little something, right? Right. Now let's go in here and uh, add the, the the dodge. And you know the dodge does the very opposite of uh, the burn. We add shadow, and the same uh, principle apply. If you want it, you can adjust the exposure based on how hard you want it hit. So uh, in this particular case, I want shadows deep because I want the highlights to pop. So now we add some super sheen. To her and if you do it before and after you see where it's coming see where it's working you know we get in there we really add some and the cool thing about dodge and burn is it's not going to affect anything light it's only going to affect what's dark so if you wanted to emphasize on a shadow then that's what this is 
for. All right. So that's pretty much the idea, fam. Um, now let's put a little bit of curvature here. Let's add a little bit more curve, right? So let's zoom that up and uh, we'll go in here and do that. And you can make it more rounder. You see what I'm doing here? Making it a little bit more rounder. Make make creating the bubble. Maybe we maybe if we put a shot over here and create this bubble. Let's see a before and after. That's before and after. Okay, a little bit. A little bit ain't a whole lot, but you know. Let's put that line in the middle to define. Now you notice how by using the dodge and burn it, it really makes it give it a realistic look as opposed to you know uh you seeing something painted uh painted on there because it's very subtle very subtle so now we didn't get her six pack really making all little women feel like they need to go to the gym even more hard you know apologize in advance for this so now y'all know the truth how they really gets it in all right and uh that pretty much wraps it up fam um i want to keep it as simple as possible i don't want to you know overdo it and things like that and uh then once we got it like that uh another thing i like to do is go over to filter and go to topaz lab and um go down here to detail and uh just kind of a lot of ones we could use here i want to get one that's like really popping here that really pops out i think this one here that's strong detail i like to get the strong detail and then kind of pull back so that way, you know, we keep the skin soft. And I will probably do something else with down there. I wouldn't want to keep that rough like that. But, uh, you know. Just add it like that. And just do a few little things. I mean, I could be here tweaking it on and on. I probably would do something different with the six-pack down there. It got a little strange. But you, that, but you get the idea. You get the point. And now there's a before and there's an after, before and after. And this was pretty quick, you know, this was a quick session, you know. Of course, of course if I spend a little bit more time on it, then, um, you know, it will come out pretty nice. But I really just wanted to show you guys this micro tutorial on how we like to enhance muscle tone and flavor and shine and flesh and depth and width and all that good stuff. You can add muscle, you can make something more rounder, you know, because you can really see the def definition now really good you know in her skin as opposed to this flat image which is good it looked good but sometimes you just want to add a little bit of a spark all right fam that's it man i got more work to do i gotta get back to work you know what i mean i just came to drop that knowledge on y'all real fast don't forget to log in to todaysbeast.com if you want to know more todaysbeast.com slash photoshop and i'm gonna leave it in the description and again, I'm teaching you all the good fun stuff. So make sure y'all go over there if y'all interested. When y'all ready, come on and give me a holla, holla, holla. And um, or even if you just went over there to um, sign up with the um, with the free membership, go ahead and do that because I got a lot more in store for you guys. Um, join the free training and start learning today. I got some tutorials that's gonna knock y'all off your feet. All right, it's your homie Grand Tizzle keeping y'all up the park, keeping y'all busy with the madness. And until the next time, thank you for watching. Make you make sure you subscribe, share, comment, and dislike. I figure if I tell you to dislike, you'll like it. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Like it, dislike it. Do what you want. It's your homie Grand Tizzle. Till the next time, I see you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Pills, niece, boy. If you can think it, you can do it. The only limitation, the only obstacle is your brain. If you believe it, you can achieve it. If you don't, you won't. It's just that simple. We at Red Media Art understands this, but we encourage you to do more than just learn. We at Red Media Art want to push you, inspire you, invoke you to shoot beyond what you believe is possible. We understand the true secrets of success, the way the mind works in learning environments, how the brain releases dopamine each time you learn something new, and how you can change your life simply by changing your mind and sticking to it. We not only train you in developing a skill, but we also train you in developing a mindset helping you to become far beyond your own